Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery. And welcome to part three. I have to look at my tree and see if I like everything that's happening down there. I have made up a pan of colors that matches the tree colors fairly well to use for leaves. And I don't know how I'm going to get away with it. I think I'm going to start by using, so you have the orange from Hobby Lobby, and there's, there's a gold that's a mixture of everything. Anyway, so I'm thinking that I might just drip, drip and drop colors here, there, and everywhere. Wishing they were smaller, but the smaller they are, if I dip my skewer in, I'm going to have issues. I will just be doing the same thing forever and ever. And I was thinking about spir spiraling out my colors. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I kind of think picking them up is not a bad thing, but we'll see. And uh, it'll be what it'll be. And I will probably not mind it. And being that it's autumn and this is a rainbow tree, which I know really very little or nothing about entirely. But I think what I can do is I can dip my skewer base, the blunt end of it, into the paint that's here and add more dots still. So I might try and do that in a minute. I did add some darker colors to the foliage colors I'm using because I wanted to be able to have them stand out against the sky. I'd like to make them all leaf shapes, but that's just not something that's feasible in a 20 minute video. I'm sorry. So if you had an interest to do that, you could put yourself, put down a little dot of paint and then just pull it out on either end. Actually, my, the, end of my, uh, the end of my scoop is sort of making leaf shapes. So if I pull them, That's kind of working. And I don't mind mixing that up. Kind of like it, in fact. Oops. And anywhere I have a dribble will be just fine. At this point, leaves could be blowing through the air. <laughs> now, if I want another color, to be dominant, or at least to illuminate the colors that are here as a contrasting color. I'm thinking about the green gold. I haven't made my mind up completely yet. And I definitely think I can go through and use the skewer. As I pick up different sections of colors in the color box, it, it adds some interest to what I'm doing. Because they shouldn't be all the same color in the same place because let's assume that the light is catching them. But we have the sunset behind. They're looking a little muddy, but leaves are brown <laughs> in the fall, so brown and orange and red and purple and you name it, it's all there. So I'm not sure when I should start my, my plan that I've talked about, and I'm definitely going to have some, some paint left and have to pull out an 8x10 canvas and do something with my leftovers because they're pretty and they probably will be. So I like that and uh, if there aren't enough leaves we'll just figure that the tree is it's in autumn and it's losing them. So let's just go ahead and give what I had in mind a try. Use the blunt end of the skewer and just pull, dot and pull, any old direction. That is also, well there is Floetrol in all my mixtures. You can find my paint pouring recipe below the video, but the Floetrol is not just a latex paint conditioner, it levels the paint, so I really like the Floetrol. It also usually, it will also encourage cells. Lots of times. I like pulling on the shapes. I think that makes better leaf shapes by far. 
And tomorrow, if I don't, if I have parts that are bothering me, I can go in and put a highlight or a low light or whatever. I think the more random my marks are, the more they look like leaves caught in the light or the afterglow. Nothing exact. And I am liking this. I'm liking it more than some of my other trees, in fact. I do want to grab a little bit of color once in a while and fix anything that's bothering me. And I can just dab right over the right over the areas that already have the branches on them without worrying too much. I'm liking that. The less I try and be exact, the more I think of it as an impressionist scape, which is okay with me. I don't want to leave too many round dots, but I don't think I'm going to let myself worry about it. I'm just going to leave enough negative space behind to let the sun sunset shine through. And I could always pick up some, well I didn't want to do that, pick up some color from inside the tree. I kind of like that little weird colorful area. So I'm almost done. I'm going to try and remember what I didn't remember the last in the last video. My email address is below the link tree should you have an interest in purchasing an artwork or reserving a lesson. I like reservations a couple weeks in, a, in advance. My lessons are all one-on-one -on -one, and I will get back to you with any information you might want should you happen to be in my area. Or I've even had people fly in. And I am definitely liking the abstract expressionist way that the leaves are coming out. And I think next time I might, I just might, grab one of my little ice cube trays and put different colors in and see if I can find another way of doing the scooping tool. I pulled up a little bit of the background paint, but um, I'm actually really happy. So what else did I not tell you? I asked you to share my videos and that's because when you share them, more people see them, and that helps me out. If you watch them longer, that's a huge assistance, because that's meaningful to the YouTube algorithm. The most important things are thumbs up, comments, watching longer, right after a notification is given. Something about watching in the first hour is meaningful to them. But you guys, I know you guys watch, like, binge watch my playlists. So that's really cool. I really appreciate that, too. And... Uh, should you be new, welcome, and uh, I have 90,000 subscribers, and if anybody's looking for a video or you have a question, you can ask me a question, I'll get back to you. If you're looking for a video, there's over 1,500 videos on my created playlists. I really do still want to throw a little bit of green in there. I think I'm just going to try that and see how I feel about it, because it's kind of a highlight. You might want to concentrate them all in one area so that it looks like... Yeah. I think that's okay. Ouch. What was that? You found something sharp on the floor with my bare feet. That'll serve me right. <laughs> yeah, at least in the spots where the, where the branches got a little bit tangled, then I can put that green in there and it'll pop a little bit and brighten up those spots. I don't mind that at all. That one yellow thing going up all the way through the whole tree is bugging me. So I'm going to change it. Too uniform. Gotta go. So that's that, I think. I could probably do this for a long time, but I think I've told you everything you need to know and I've held you hostage long enough except for I need to remember always 
to tell you guys that there is a monthly exhibition video and on that exhibition video you can find the monthly drawing winners prizes choice prize choices and in September 2020 there are nine paintings and you get to pick two if you happen to be one of the contributors to the studio and if you are a contributor through PayPal or Patreon I automatically send you an entry to get into the drawing. Now I want purple. <laughs> Somebody's like, I knew you would. I would probably take my time if I were not recording and make sure that this was exactly what I wanted, which in my mind right at the moment would be to add some gold leaves around the top. So I'm going to show this to you guys and probably call it good. I'll just do a couple. Yeah, I like that. Just like being lit up by the sun sort of thing. Except for when they all get joined. Yeah, I like that. So much so. I think I'm just going to give myself permission. So I can show you in a second, hopefully. Yeah, I like that. The green was good, but the gold is better. All right. I love you guys. I will see you anon. One more mark in my tree. And uh, tell you guys I love you and maybe zoom in a little bit. I hope that yellow mark doesn't make me crazy. Yeah, I should do that sort of not upside down, right? There. I'm pretty good. Hope you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I love you. I might change the fact that all those branches look very blue to me and I'm going to probably add, keep adding some more leaves and pulling the little green ones out. And maybe the gold ones too. But especially the green ones. Because it makes a texture I like. And if I have a, have a schmutzy skewer, that's better because it gives dimension to the leaf shapes. And hopefully my head isn't completely obliterating everything that you can see, but that's happened before, so I'll just say I'm sorry now. And I will talk to you guys in non. Make sure you check out Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for shopping. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors, if you want to see what the YouTube artworks look like that I have bothered to edit, they're in the albums there. I love you guys. Don't ever doubt it. Really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I hope you never stop keeping my morale boosted with your wonderful, wonderful, kind comments. I appreciate them so much. It keeps me here. You guys keep me here. All right. I'll just keep fussing with this for a while. <laughs> but for right now, I think that's okay. I like it. Let's zoom out if we can a little bit. No, we can't, but we can zoom in. All right. Cool. I like the sunset behind the tree. And I love you guys. And I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida. At Expressionist Studio Gallery in the front room. Bye for now. Priscilla out.